Thursday morning marks one year since the January 6th Capitol riot. President Biden and former President Trump set to deliver remarks on that anniversary. But this morning, we're learning more about how the investigation into what happened is going down. Committee Chair Benny Thompson saying members of Congress did, in fact, interact with some of the rioters, but it's unclear how big of a deal it was. So let's bring in Leanne Caldwell on Capitol Hill. Also with us, Punchbowl News co-founder Jake Sherman. Leanne, the investigation is now going public. What can we expect? Hey, Steph. So the two vice chairs of the committee fanned the Sunday shows over the weekend, and there was a lot of news that came out of that. We're starting to get a better picture of what they're interested in and where this investigation could go. We know based on those interviews that the vice chairs and the committee is extremely interested in the 187 minutes. That's three hours and seven minutes that the former president did nothing while the violence was underway here at the Capitol. Now, is that going to be lead to a criminal referral to the Department of Justice. The two vice chairs wouldn't say just yet, but they did say, especially Representative Liz Cheney said that it was absolutely a dereliction of duty. Let's listen to what she said. There's absolutely no question that it was a dereliction of duty. Uh, and, and I think one of the things the committee needs to look at as we're looking at a legislative purpose is whether we need enhanced penalties for that kind of dereliction of duty. One of the reasons they think it's a dereliction of duty is because they know from their previous interviews behind closed doors that the former president was watching it on television and that his daughter, Ivanka Trump, came in twice, asked him to do something to call off the violence. So, you know, the repercussions that the former president had was an impeachment trial. He was not impeached. So it sounds like Congress is trying to create perhaps some other mechanism to punish a president should some similar instance happen again in the future, Steph. Okay, but then that's create more consequences. As they stand, what's the punishment for a dereliction of duty, Jake? Because the reporting, now it's the president's family members, his chief of staff, members of Congress, his buddies on Fox News telling him on the phone and in person, please stop these rioters, and he didn't. Are there any consequences currently for that? No, of course not. And actually, Steph, I'd take it a step further in saying that at the time, in the days after the attack on the Capitol, it was reported that he was watching TV. It was reported that Ivanka Trump had tried to stop him, uh, tried to urge him to stop the, uh, the, the rioters and the attackers at the Capitol. It was reported that Kevin McCarthy urged him to, to issue a statement. So I, now the committee has this information, but it largely was in the public domain. Now, they can make a criminal referral, of course, and they could ask the, the Justice Department to take action to indict him, but then it's up to the Justice Department. Congress doesn't really have any, besides the investigation, which is incredibly important, doesn't have any actual authority to do anything that it's not done. I'll say one other thing here, Steph. The interesting thing to me, uh, and I think this is what we're going to see when this thing goes public next year, or this year, rather, <laughs> when this thing goes public in 2022 is that they've had a lot of cooperation from people that we don't know at this point, right? They've had people who worked in the White House, who were not subpoenaed, who voluntarily came to the committee and said they would cooperate. That, to me, is the most interesting stuff because the people who've been subpoenaed have already indicated they're probably not, absent a court order, going to participate and going to help. So okay, the interesting thing to me is wh was what they've gotten from people who have not been subpoenaed. Even if they participate and help, if there's no consequences, what's the point? There's all this talk. Could they call Ivanka Trump to testify? What would that do? Create a big, giant show. And if there's one thing the Trump family loves, it's a big show. Wouldn't she love showing up and saying, I tried, I tried to do it from the inside? How does that help the committee? Well, I mean, th th that gets back to a fundamental question here, which is what is the committee trying to do? What the committee is trying to do is create some sort of historical record for what happened on January 6th based on both sides of Pennsylvania Avenue and the security failures on Capitol Hill. So, I mean, I think it has that. I think that's an incredibly important thing. I don't think that anybody who is in the White House, including Ivanka and, and some of her other some of the other aides, I don't think you're going to get much out of those people. But again, what the committee will get is from uh, is information from some of those peripheral people people in the White House who were either a party or a witness to what the president was doing that day. But Jake, people don't want the truth. It has been a year. 
and 71 percent of Republicans still believe the big fat lie that Trump won, which he didn't. And 12 percent of the country wants Trump to fight to be made president as we speak. How do you have a country move forward when people won't accept basic truths about the election and people don't even need necessarily this committee, though they're so important. We watch those riots on TV, and every day people whitewash it and talk about it like it's a thing of the past. Yeah, I mean, I lived through it, so I'm, I'm with you on that. And we, I mean, I don't know how to solve the fact that some people are living in Alice in Wonderland about the elections and about what happened on January 6th. That's that's probably beyond my pay grade, but it's ridiculous and it's obviously stupid and it has no place in our society or political system.